did you know that there are certain things that you can actually do differently so that you can be able to level up your life well i know we all want to progress i know we all want to grow but most of the times we do certain things not knowing that there are actual mistakes hindering us from moving to our next level and in today's video we are going to be sharing some of the mistakes that you should actually avoid when it comes to you moving to your next level My name is Karunju Josephine and I'm so glad to have you here if this is your first time. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome to. Thank you so much for coming back to watch these videos. So the very first mistake that we usually do when we think about moving to the next level is only focusing on making money. Now, I know money is something that is very, very important, like we all need this money, but you should realize that money is not the real value, like how the world has portrayed it to be. So when you're thinking about moving to the next level in your life, you should realize that money only is not enough and it's not the real value. So if you're adding it there, let it be used as a tool that is going to help you define your own value. So what is real value here? You would ask me, what is real value? This is being able to develop certain skills that are in you. I believe everyone was created for a purpose and I believe everyone has a certain skill that is special in them and you being able to develop that skill, being able to, you know, do something that is going to add value onto you, what you can do, the skills that are in you are the things that actually define your value, they are the things that define who you are, not the money. So don't look at it as the end goal if you're focusing at, you know, moving to your next level. So make sure that as you're focusing on making this money, focus on your skills as well. Focus on your purpose as well. Focus on the things that you are passionate about. You know, focus on the things that God put in you because I believe every one of us has a special gift that God put in them. And that is something that you should develop. Make sure that you do not focus only on money and do not call it your value because most of the times some people don't have value even when they have money yeah and then the other mistake that we usually do is not adding value to ourselves as i said there are certain people that don't even know what adding value to yourself means what value means to a person some people think that when you have money you have value but it is not actually always like that adding value to yourself means investing in yourself investing in the things that you are passionate about investing in things that are going to build you and investing in yourself i mean economically spiritually physically emotionally how are you being able to invest in yourself in all these different aspects do you know that it is very important for you to invest in your spirituality do you know that it is very important for you to invest in the things that you are passionate about you being able to invest you know in reading so if you are a person that is not focusing on adding value to yourself then you are missing a lot about you know being able to move to your next level because you moving to the next level that is going to require a different version of you it is going to to require a different um a different person and that person is a person who has added value onto themselves is a person who has discovered who they are is a person who has discovered you know their potential their skills so if you are focusing on adding value on yourself it is one of the things that is going to help you be able to move to your next level do you realize that people focus mostly on investing in businesses investing in property and all these other things that they think about investing in and then they forget themselves what are you doing what are you going to be doing to add value to yourself you know how are you going to be able to invest in yourself and when it comes to investing in yourself, what kind of areas would you like to actually, you know, develop? Or what kind of areas would you like to invest in you as a person when it comes to your, uh, your emotional life when it comes to your passions when it comes to your growth your personal development when it comes to um let me say your finances what are these things that are going to help you be able to move to the next level and how will you do that if you have not added you know value to yourself and then the other mistake is lack of passion for knowledge have you realized that there are certain people that are not passionate about learning or getting to discover new things 
Yes, because if you are moving to the next level, that is going to require a person that is well knowledgeable, a person that is passionate and curious about getting knowledge and learning different things from people each and every single day. So if you are the person that loves learning, then you have started a very good step towards moving to the next level. What am I learning every single day? What knowledge have I added onto the knowledge that I have? And I, I've, I've come to realize that every one of us has something to learn from the other. You realize that each and every person that God has placed into your life has a lesson to teach you. But if you are not paying attention to it, most of the times you will not you will not even realize what you're learning from this particular person. You will not realize what they are trying to teach you. But pay attention most of the times. What am I learning from my friends? What am I learning at my place of work? What am I learning in this particular season that I'm in? You know, there are always things to learn learn wherever you go there are always things to learn each and every single day so pay attention on to these small details there is always knowledge that god has hidden in different people there is knowledge that god has hidden in different seasons of your life so pay attention to these things what are you learning from them and what how are they going to be able to push you to the next level so always have passion Always have passion of learning something new. Always have passion of learning or getting knowledge from different people or from different societies, different seasons that you're in in your life. I don't know whatever you are going through right now, but just know that there is a lesson that you are learning. And you need to pay attention to that particular lesson so that you can get some juice out of it, so that you can get something out of it. And always make sure that whatever season you're going through, be it good or bad, there is always something you are to learn from that, from that season that is going to help push you to the next level. Another mistake that we usually do is not investing in valuable resources. Yes, what are you investing your time in? You know, what are you spending most of the t of your time doing? That is also investment. What uh, what kind of, of things are you investing your money in? Are they things that are valuable? Are they things that are going to grow, make more money for you? Are they things that are going to build you, be a better person? Are you investing in good friends? You know, good relationships. Those are some of the things that help us, you know, grow, go to the next level. Are you investing your time in the right things, in things that are valuable? This is one of the things that is going to help you move to the next level. And by that, I mean not only for money, but only for your time, for your relationships. Are you investing your time in the right, you know, places, in the right people? Are you investing uh, in good relationships? Are you a good person, you as you? But if you're looking at investing always invest in valuable resources in valuable things and then the other mistake is actually spending more than you earn yes i will always talk about money because you know what most of the times you realize that money drives all the things that we actually do like every decision that you make is a financial decision Especially when it comes to life, you realize that every single decision that you make is a financial decision. Be it going to school, be it, you know, having children, be it, you know, uh, selecting that particular place you're staying in, it's a financial decision. So here, the mistake that we usually do, and I'm, tell, I'm talking about this for people who are big spenders or people who love to actually spend. If you are spending more than you earn, you are going to live in debts. You are pushing yourself like beyond your boundaries and that most of the times has kept people into what we call a rat race you get your money and then spend you wait for another money spend and it's not always enough why because you are spending more than you're actually earning that means the money you're earning feels like it's not even enough and you realize that money will never be enough most of the people that we see, uh, the ones that we call rich people, these people are still looking for money because if they really were rich, if they had that enough money, they wouldn't be still looking for it if they had enough. So you realize it will never be enough. You just have to learn how to manage your money. You just have to learn how to manage your finances and plan according to what you can afford. Do not spend out of your rich. Do not spend out of what you actually earn. 
that is a very big mistake especially when you want to go to the next level because if you are spending more than you earn that means you're always going to be living in that particular circle of get it spend it get it spend it but then still it's not enough even the one you're spending is not enough because you are spending more than what you are actually earning and that means you're just going to remain in that circle you're not going to be able to move beyond it you're not going to be able to move to the next level why because you are spending more than you're earning this is a sign to let you know that you should cut your costs you should cut your spending if you really want to go to the next level because if you don't if you continue spending more than you earn that means you are going to like move in that circle until 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 like you won't be able to move to the next level and then the other mistake is actually not having a clear vision of your life not having a vision this means you not having a direction of where you actually want to go to this is a very big mistake but you can avoid this one by sitting down and reflecting upon your life like reflecting about the things that you want to see manifest in your life the things that you want to see happen in your life like god has given us this power you know write your vision like put it clear where what would you like to have in life what are these things that you want to achieve? Do you know, let your dream car uh, be put on a bit. Like, like people, do you have vision boards? Do you have things that you want to achieve? But are they clear? Because there is, you're saying you want to have this particular thing, but then you don't know what exactly it is. Look at your dream house. Do you know, envision it. How does it look like? So as you're praying, as you're working each and every single day, what are you working towards too? And that what you're working towards too is what we call a vision, is what we call a goal. So do you have a clear goal? Do you have a clear vision of your life? Yes, and then the other mistake is buying too many liabilities than actually assets. If you realize that liabilities are things that are actually taking your money, if you are buying land, land, the value of land keeps on appreciating. It's not going to stay the same this year or even the next year. So it keeps on appreciating. That is an asset. But if you're buying something that is instead just going to be taking money away from you, you realize that there is no way you're going to be able to move to your next level. So look at investing in assets more than liabilities. This is one way you'll be able to grow um, financially and then be able to make sure that you achieve the dreams of your life. So what are these liabilities? And then the other mistake that we usually do is staying in your comfort zone. Yes, now I know our comfort zones are the best places that we think we should actually be in, but that is according to us. According to growth, according to you moving to your next level, a comfort zone is an enemy to that. A comfort zone is an enemy of progress. You cannot grow in a place where you are very comfortable with whatever is in that place. So you staying in your comfort zone, that means you do not want to go to your next level. You should always make it a purpose every single day to make sure that you are not making yourself comfortable. You are not making yourself like have this mindset of I have reached because when it comes to growing, you can never reach. It is going to require you doing uncomfortable things. It's going to require you doing things that feel uncomfortable to you for you to be able to move to the next level so make sure that you are not making yourself comfortable make sure that you are not making yourself like feel like you have reached there is nothing like reaching just like i shared earlier that even the people we think are rich even the people we think are successful they are still you know making themselves better they are still looking for these particular things that we think they have because if they had them and they are enough they would be settling thank you so much for watching this video if you find it helpful kindly give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed kindly click the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of the videos that i will be uploading those ones who comment i see you in the comment section and appreciate all of you even though the ones that watch silently i also appreciate you all thank you so much for supporting and i will see you all in the next video